Alright Chooks, we had to come back twice. A Harry Maguire flick header and then a Bruno Fernandes penalty. But then in the second half, our Portuguese Magnifico, Bruno Fernandes, Captain Fantastic. What a drive, what a strike with his left foot, yeah? He found the back of the net and then Rasmus Hoyland, boy, he didn't need that goal. So final scoreline of the game, Man United 4, Sheffield United 2. Let's get your thoughts, let's get your analysis on that game last night. At some point in that game, eh, I was thinking we were going to draw. Kudos to Maguire, he has done it back to back now. Two goals in his last two games, you understand? Bruno, kudos to Bruno again. Seven goals in his last five Premier League games. Um, eight goals in his last um, six games for Manchester United. Wow, it was actually a performance. The pairing of Maguire and Casemiro, it's ah, that pairing. Honestly speaking, I just think that we should convert um, Casemiro to a centre back. We, we all know fully well that Casemiro doesn't really have that legs in midfield anymore. You understand? So, honestly speaking, I think we, sh we should actually convert him to, to play centre back, pair him with Martinez, not even Maguire said, because two of them, they are actually aggressive. You understand? They will give us something different. So, I, I think that I honestly think that we should convert him. They buy a defensive midfielder, maybe Joan Naves, but just that his money is, is actually high. But the team of our performance yesterday was actually, I would just say it was a good one. There was a fight. Ganache's position active, in as much as he missed some kind of clear cut chances in that game. We wouldn't blame him too much because he's still a kid. You understand? It's part of the learning process he gets. Anthony, Anthony, uh, I would just give him, okay, he was actually mid yesterday he wasn't really 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 very effective but there was some kind of he had some kind of great moments in the game you understand moving the ball forward holyan he was active he scored yesterday now i think he had two chances and he put one in, in the back of the net that's what I've, that's what i've been crying since give him more chances bruno fernandez magnifico portuguese magnifico honestly bruno fernandez was class you know i've always told you before that before our last few games, Bruno Fernandes has been playing more like a defensive midfielder, a centre back, a right back, a left back. A, you understand? But for the past few games, he has actually been pushed forward. That okay, Baba, play your position. He has play your number ten role. And this is you see what Bruno Fernandes is doing now. This is what he 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 actually did in his first season, staying back back of the striker, collecting the scrap that the number nine can't take. Yes, that, and that's what he did yesterday and he was brilliant and if you notice that his goal form has been has increased drastically you understand his goal form has been, because he does less work in the midfield like he does less work going backward because now you have the likes of ericsson like for yesterday you have the likes of ericsson and kobe Mino in the midfield what are you going back to go and do you understand they're actually taking all the creativity backwards for you kobe Mino is there who who has the leg to drive the ball from the defense to the to, to the attack you understand? He has the legs to drive to drive the ball. Honestly speaking, everybody's performance was actually brilliant yesterday. All right, so everybody's performance was brilliant. The guys put in the work, but let's analyze what went wrong in the first half. So the first goal came from a oh. Onana assist. He was trying to play out from the back. I think he was trying to find was it Dalot or Wambisaka, but then he ended up handing the ball to Sheffield um, to Sheffield. So honestly speaking, I know everybody will blaming Onana. But did you see what built up to that goal? First of all, the person that actually caused that goal is Ericsson. Now, Casemiro was in a tight position. He passed the ball to Ericsson. Instead of Ericsson to hold and turn, what did Ericsson do? Ericsson in that the same tight position that Casemiro was, Ericsson passed the ball back to Casemiro, putting him in a more tighter position. Honestly speaking, I wasn't even expecting um, Casemiro to pass that ball back to Onana. What I was expecting was a pull out. You understand? I was shocked how the boy even reached Onana. Ericsson, yes, Ericsson is a good player. You understand? But I think his time in Manchester United is up. Honestly speaking, it was, if it was Kobe Mino that had that ball yesterday, that pass that Casemiro gave to Ericsson, if it was Kobe Mino that he gave that ball to, Kobe Mino could have held that ball and torn, beat his marker, progressed with that ball. Um, Kobe did that more than once in that game yesterday, holding the ball, progressing it. Most of the times he does that, he opens the midfield, like he opens the game. You see Ericsson, yes, he's a good player, but I think his time is up in Manchester United. That goal was actually not on Anna's fault. Yeah, he was just trying to like make something happen. Yes, out, out of scrap, he was trying to make something happen. So it wasn't actually his fault yesterday. And Onana was actually solid for us. In fact, Onana has actually been in form for Manchester United. 
of late. He has actually been putting up performance upon performance. You will not blame Onana, bro. All the goals. If I have that goal, you must, he still tried to cover. You understand me? So it wasn't, it wasn't actually his fault. The game did not seem like a Rashford feature, perhaps due to the injury he sustained in the last game. Now, was there a difference in our performance with the fact that Rashford was absent in this game? Ah, thank God. Oh, thank God he was not even in starting 11 because his presence, you understand, would cause more harm to the team. Because if you watch yesterday, you see that left that left wing, it was very effective. You could even see that the first goal came from the first wing, from, from the from the left wing. The first goal came from the left wing. Because if it was Rashford, you see that cross that Ganache made, he wouldn't have made it. In fact, if it was Rashford, you see that run. Where like say Ganache will run, go collect the ball, come cross. He wouldn't have done that. You understand? That left wing was very effective yesterday. If not, Ganacho made like the fact that Ganacho, Ganacho made some some um, he, he, he couldn't convert most of his chances. You understand? But you see that wing, it was very effective, causing threats to the defense. I think honestly, Marcus Rashford just need this like he needs this rest. And let it take like two weeks out to calm himself down. And another thing is that you see that our new boy, um, our Kelly boy, uh, eating Whitley. Honestly speaking, kudos to him. His debut, his debut game. And if you notice something, yesterday he could have scored. You understand? He could have scored that yesterday on his debut. He could have actually scored. You understand? So honestly speaking, I think what Tiang is doing is is great. Bringing in academic products in. You understand? Because that it's in Whitley. It's actually like that boy is good in that number nine position. That boy is good. He has the height. He has everything for it. You understand? So you see Rashford. I be mean, Rashford just they, let it be, let see let it be on that bed first on that sick bed first please let it just be the first because uh, you see his performance on against Coventry not it at all let it just remain on the sick bed at least for the remaining of the from the remainder of the season the only prayer that I'm praying now is Ganache shouldn't get injured that's the only prayer because if Ganache doesn't get injured and it's Whitley is there Ahmad is there you understand. I'm 100% sure that we are not going to miss Rashford presently now. All right, folks, final scoreline of the game, Man United 4, Sheffield United 2. Man United will play Burnley in, our next, in, um, in their next fixture, and that is going to be on Saturday. Now, for viewers who are watching us for the first time, and viewers who have still not subscribed to this channel, this is Everything Football with Chooks and Otis. Kindly give a like to this video. Let's get your comments in the comment section. We're going to give you a kind response. So smash on the like button. We're really going to like that. Hit on the subscribe button. You're going to see the option here. Just hit on the subscribe button so you get to become part of our growing community. So subscribe to this channel and we're really going to like that. Until next time, we remain Chooks and Otis. And this is Everything Football. Football.